Uh, I'll show you one of our other training things. Uh, training uh, things we're pretty proud of in the unit. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna show you the Street Smarts Virtual Reality System. Um, an, an excellent tool that we were able to. Uh, we actually worked with the uh, the Phoenix and they gave us a quick demo. And we said, heck yes, we would jump on board with that. So um, we were able to acquire it through that that innovation program. Um, but since then, it has, has exploded. Um, Sergeant Joseph, who's in the goggles now, I may be playing the role player of a bad guy. Well, he knows me. And it's sometimes hard to differentiate in a role playing scenario that it's Mr. Feldman or, you know, so on and so forth. Yeah. In this world, they don't know the people in the street. Yeah. And a lot of these scenarios are not your traditional one defender responding by themselves. His life was near the three of Put the weapon down! Drop the weapon! Drop the weapon! Stop what you do! Drop the weapon! Put your hands behind your back! Stop what you're doing! Alright, good. That's the end of the scenario. Walk us through your thought process in this scenario. Initially, just coming up on two people who were fighting. They weren't doing any harm to each other. They were just pushing and shoving, so I tried to use my verbal tactics to get them to separate themselves. They didn't. And then they gave themselves some distance, and that's when the gentleman in the white shirt decided to pull out a knife. And I didn't shoot until he actually made motion towards the other individual and in putting their life in danger with a threatening weapon. Okay. All right, so you're at the gate here, Sergeant Joseph. This is the individual that you will be uh, interacting with. Are you ready, sir? All right, ready. Hey, man. Yeah, no, I just forgot my ID. Sir, I'm going to need your ID card for you. Yeah, okay. it's, it's in my computer. We all make the same, sir, but you have to turn around, go to the visit control center. In the office yesterday. You got to call Don't somebody, see if they can read your ID. Get my cat card. You're going to have to go to the visit control yeah, center can, so we can verify who you are. I show you. But come on, man. We'll do it I can't let you on without you properly identifying yourself before. Can't let you on. Please. I'll show you my driver's license. Your driver's yeah, license is not valid at the gate to get on to space. You have to call my boss and tell him why I'm going to be late. Sir, you're going to need to turn around, go to the visit control center. Okay, fine. We hey. can try to get you a pass. Yeah. All right. Sir, the driver's license is not valid. Good, right? Sir, you need to listen to what I'm All telling right, you. Dude. I'm going to get my eye. No, you're not going to go with Gate Runner, Gate Runner, Gate Runner. Yes, sir. That was intense just watching for, for me. Sorry, just but. You think the reps, these type of reps, they're, they are really good because the guns, they, I mean, they're exactly what they're carrying on post. And when you start using them, it takes a little bit of use to getting used to them I mean, in the VR world a little bit, but the reps are really good. It feels like you're right there, you're having to make a decision, and you have to do it quickly before something actually gets thrown to hurt. So they are good reps. All you got to do is actually bring it up like a real gun. You'll see the gun in the VR system, and try to aim it as best you can. So you see the weapon floating out in front of you? You can go ahead and just put it in your front pocket. You will have black and red ones pop up, but we only want you to shoot the red ones. And they will start to go a little bit faster as, this, as the, uh, the range time is. Thanks, teammate.